the bright pink will be shoreline impacts 48 hours out. So tomorrow's operation does not include shoreline cleanup efforts. Tomorrow's operation, we're focused on the recovery of product on water and protection strategies um, in response to our resources at risk summary. With that, I'd like to go over the operational objectives um, that were set by Unified Command. <clears throat> Ensure the safety of citizens and response personnel. Control the source and stabilize the incident. Manage a coordinated response effort. Maximize protection of environmentally sensitive areas. Contain and recover spilled material. <coughs> recover and rehabilitate injured and or oiled wildlife. Remove oil from impacted areas. Minimize economic impacts and impacts to cultural and historical sites. And keep the stakeholders and public informed of response activities. So the tactics and strategies that have been developed um, for tomorrow's operational period will meet these objectives. And at the end of this tactics meeting, we'll make a nexus between the objectives that were set by Unified Command this morning and the tactics and strategies that were developed by the operations section and others for tomorrow's operational period. With that said, I'm going to work over, move this over to the operations section chief, um, Vince Mitchell. And Vince will be putting up the ICS 215, our operational planning worksheet. And we've only selected a couple of the items off of this operational planning worksheet, which is very involved and very lengthy. But we're highlighting three specific areas for this particular tactics meeting, uh, just based on time. So we're going to highlight our recovery, on water recovery operations. We're going to highlight our protection group operations. And we're highlighting our salvage operations.